Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition and Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another live episode of Kalingang Katribu. This is your sports and fitness kid, Ian Suyu. And today we will be discussing uh, how the coronavirus pandemic really affected not just our motivation but our will to continue our workout sessions. So without further ado, uh, kasama natin ngayon ang isa sa mga pinaka-prominent na sports analyst, sports anchor, and fitness coach. Walang iba kundi the one and only Coach Hammer. Mr. Martin Antonio. Good afternoon, uh, Coach. Okay, have on, Ian, prominent is such a big word. Grabe ka naman. Uh, katribo ko, kabarkada niyo lang ako. Makikita mo ako kung san-san lang sa, dito sa Quezon City. But yeah, uh, magandang araw lahat ng mga katribo natin sa lahat ng mga kasama natin. Hope you're all staying safe. You're all staying fit. And uh, syempre, coronavirus, nasa quarantine pa rin tayo. We'll see ano yung mga updates na paparating the coming days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway, sir, kamusta kayo ngayon dyan? Pinagkakaabalahan natin. <laughs> well, uh, sabi ko nga, uh, the past few streams natin, ako, I, I've been very blessed 
to have my own uh, facility here. Meron ako sarili kong weights room. Uh, meron akong, uh, I do, I, I was playing of duty kanina <laughs> yeah. bago, tayo, bago tayo nag on air. So I, I'm very fortunate to be spending a lot of time with my family, getting getting my workouts in, getting my rehab in, and uh, yun, yun yung ginagawa ko. Eating healthier, mm-hmm. having yes. better choices with the way I eat kasi I've been able to prepare and eat better food. Dahil, syempre, pag uh, hindi ka kumakain ng tama, kahit na anong pokpok mo, whatever yes, yes. workout you do, if you're having a bad diet, it would uh, negate a lot of things that you're doing. Yes, as you mentioned nga, uh, napakaraming oras ng mga tao ngayon no, to to <coughs> work out dahil wala masyadong work or work from home yung iba. Pero, Coach, gano'ng kalaki yung naging epekto no, na nagkaroon ng pandemic at paano niya na-limit yung, yung, ano natin, yung capacity ng tao to, to go out and pumunta sa mga gym to work out? Well, number one yung mobility, iyan, alam mo, tayong dalawa, parehas tayong mahilig pumunta sa gym, parehas yeah. tayong magbuhat, mm. mag-cardio, makipagkwentuhan sa mga kaibigan habang nagpat. Una-una yun yung na-apekto, ano, hindi tayo makapunta sa gym. Dahil hindi naman lahat ng Pilipino may access sa uh, parang mm-hmm. kahit uh, parang lata ng nido lang na nilagyan ng simento, hindi lahat may ganon. Mm-hmm. So, unang-una yun yung tektohan, yung mga pupuntahan natin. Maraming, uh, marami ako mga kaibigan na talagang nahirapan. They, they have, uh, they are experiencing a lot of uh, challenges when the quarantine period started last March. Pero most of them started building their home gyms. Kaya, nakita natin yung mga nagre-resell, mga nagbebenta, nagpa-fabricate mm, yeah. ng gym equipment, tumaas din ang sales, naging maganda uh, opportunity para sa kanila yon to grow their businesses. Mm-hmm, yes, and uh, regarding naman, no, like what you said nga, hindi lahat may access or maka- nakakagawa ng alternative gym equipments. So, paano ano? Ano yung marirecommend mong uh, mindset for them to to rebuild their confidence no, na maghanap ng paraan para makapag-workout given the limited space sa bahay nila? Well, actually, you know, again, uh, limited space, you have uh, you have your body exercises. At dami coaches mm-hmm. yun na nagpo-post ng kanilang mga body weight exercises, body, body weight uh, workouts. And uh, kailangan nyo lang, lahat naman tayo halos may access sa internet for those guys, mga katribo natin na nanonood sa atin sa live stream. At dami coaches yan, um, sila Coach Mark Reyes ng Underdog Fitness for One, very good friends ng aking partner. They are posting a lot of uh, good body weight exercises. Um, a lot of coaches, especially the Sports Commission, also has been uh, mm-hmm, doing yes. a lot of their uh, workouts, work from home para sa mga atleta. So, hindi mo naman kailangan ng equipment per se, pero pag meron ka lang maidadagdag na resistance, nakita natin, a lot of our national athletes have been mm-hmm, posting yes. on social media, pro athletes natin, nagpo-post ng mga workouts using water bottles, using knapsacks, so kailangan mo lang gamitin yung imagination. Oh, so talagang malaking bagay na may internet ngayon at kayang ma-maximize ng mga tao no, yung paggamit sa internet. So, maka-pick up sila ng workouts, yes. Oh, anyway, coach, matanong ko lang since na nabanggit na nga natin yung mga equipments na yan. If you were to recommend one, no, isang isang equipment lang na pwede nilang mabili or malaki yung magiging pakinabang sa kanila, what would it be? Um, ako, alam mo, I'm a, I'm a student of history. I love watching uh, history uh, documentaries on the mm-hmm. internet, on streaming, and uh, yung mga gladiators. I was watching uh, Gladiator the other day, and I, I looked into it, how they trained. Laging nandun, kettlebell training. Ako, I, I'm not a kettlebell certified trainer. I have friends, sila Coach uh, Donato, sila Coach Donat, sila yung mga talaga mga kettlebell specialists. But for me, if you're going to get uh, a piece of equipment on uh, that is very versatile, that you can use uh, on many many movement planes mm. that you can customize to your strengths and weaknesses. You get a kettlebell. Pwede kayo mag-squats, pwede kayo mag-overhead press, yes. pwede kayo mag-pulls, pwede kayo mag-rows. Very versatile piece of equipment. I have one here with uh, with all my stuff. I, I've been using it really uh, a lot ngayong quarantine because uh, this facility just started with a pair of kettlebells. No. Araw, I think it was March. Hindi ako nagkakamali. Ah, correct me if I'm wrong. March 15 or 16 or 17. Either of those days yung nagsimula yung day natin. Ah, nagsimula yung 
community quarantine yeah, natin. Yeah, yeah. I bought a pair of kettlebells and then me and my friend, si Doug, si Mix, and si Darren, we started throwing ideas about how do we build our own home gym. So, mm-hmm. nagbuo kami in a span of one week ng sarili-sarili namin home gym, which is uh, a hefty investment pero mm-hmm. worth it dahil meron akong thumbs up ng sister ko na doktor na si senior na yung lola namin, she mm-hmm. is 80. I could spend more time with them here at home. Binigyan ako ng kwarto dito which I refurbished before the quarantine. Ito na yung naging weight soap ko. So kahit pa paano, it's a win-win situation pa nga, no? nakakasama mo sila at the same oh, time. Naman. No? Pero uh, dun sa tanong mo, Ian, it's always mm-hmm. about uh, find an equi- a piece of equipment that would fit you. Pwedeng, uh, number one, resistance bands yes, para yes. dun sa uh, medyo limited yung budget. Mm-hmm. Medyo mahal pa rin nga resistance band. Kung kayo ng interior ng bike, uso bike ngayon, oh. marami <laughs> nagpapalit ng gulong. Interior ng bike, elastic, wala pang tatlong daan yan. Pwede nyo gamitin sa squats, sa row, sa push-ups para magkaroon mm-hmm. ng resistance over or resistance overhead presses, bicep curls, triceps. Kailangan nyo lang ng imagination. Lahat yan nasa internet. Meron kayong mga makikita uh, mga routines na pwede nyo sulat. May mga app to follow. Number two, kettlebell. Yung kettlebell, ang dami ng exercises. Makikita nyo on YouTube, makikita nyo on Facebook. A lot of people sharing their knowledge para mas maging uh, mabuti, mas mapaganda yung mga pagkilos natin at mas lumakas yung katawan natin. Yes, that's very true. However, sir, uh, syempre nabanggit na natin kanina, napakarami, no? wide variations ng mga uh, workout choices online. Pero paano ba masisiguro ng isang, uh, ng isang aspiring na na tao na gusto mag-workout na yung mga exercises na ititake niya eh, talagang worth it, kumbaga effective? it will hit the necessary muscles na desired or paano paano ma-assure yun well ang assurance kasi siya you need to you need to also learn a few things of course mm-hmm. ano ba gusto mong gawin what are your goals gusto mo bang gusto mo bang lumaki gusto mo bang magpapayat yes. mm-hmm. gusto mo bang lumakas gusto mo bang uh, what do you call this gusto mo bang i-tone yung katawan mo syempre meron ka meron tayong pinag-uusapan ngayon na variations pagdating mm-hmm. sa workouts. Siyempre, frequency, your intensity, the type and the type of workouts that you do. Yung fit principle na ginagamit ng mga strength and conditioning coaches like myself. So, gano'ng kaka-frequent magbuhat? Ano ba yung intensity na binubuhat mo? Ang intensity, gano'ng ba siya kabigat? Gano'ng ba, ka, mm-hmm. yeah. gano ba kagaan? Gano, ano yung types ng buhat mo? Ano ba yan? Mga, mga high-intensity interval training, HIIT, which is uh, usong-uso ngayon, nagpapalaki ka ba, which is nag-hypertrophy ka ba, na mm-hmm. workouts, nag-ano ka ba, nag-cardio workout ka ba, tumatakbo ka na tumatakbo around the village. Tapos, anong, uh, gaano katagal mo ginagawa, which is the time. So, maraming, maraming kang matututunan. If you read, there are numerous uh, things that you can read upon. I, I suggest you go to the Australian Institute of Sports. Marami silang mga free na mga materials that you could read. You, you have the Philippine Sports Commission, naglalabas mm-hmm. din sila, the EMSAS. Naglalabas ng mga, we, I think it was a weekly thing the mga updates mm-hmm. on how to how about to do about training a few guidelines and of course syempre the national strength and conditioning association sa states meron din silang mga content which you could read upon importante na magbabasa kayo hindi lang kayo maniniwala sa sinasabi yes. ng tao kasi uh-huh. yung makina natin which is our body is totally different from one person to the uh-huh. other yeah. yung mga gumagana sa akin iyan pwedeng hindi gumagana sa iyo ako yeah. i like to do a lot of uh, a lot of heavier lifts dahil mm-hmm. medyo malaki ako and I try to get the uh, bang for the buck that I do. Mm-hmm. Siyempre, meron din ako mga gamit na pwede kong gamitin as I work out. Pwede ikaw. Kettlebell lang yung meron ka. Mm-hmm. Ano yung mga pwede mong gawin exercise to reach your goal. So, important is to understand what are your goals and how to get to your goals. So, kumbaga talaga before before uh, hating it out, kailangan meron ka talagang straight na ano, ano, ano mindset kung ano talagang... Oh, kailangan, alam mo, yung, alam mo yung mindset mo. Gusto mo lang, uh, gusto mo magpapayat, gusto mo magpalakas. Pero ako, I always suggest, you start with strength. You start with how you strengthen your core. Dahil yan yung pinaka-importante. Tayo lang yung, I, I think ah, throughout the animal kingdom, tayo lang yung bipedal locomotion. Kahit mga unggoy, hmm. nakababa yung kamay nila eh. Hmm. Pagka naglalakad sila tayo, we we walk on two legs so a lot of our balance a lot of our strength starts from our core our, our motion our movement all of the exercise it all engages your core kind exercise and all it activates your core so you start there do your planks do your do your sit ups do your other, other things that you can do to strengthen that core area and to make yourself 
injury proof dahil dalawang bagay mm, ang dapat yeah. niyo malaman pag nag-exercise kayo parang pagsaseo yan kailangan maganda tignan mm, dapat maganda tignan kasi if you can't perform ja forms dapat <laughs> kailangan maporma yung ginagawa niya hindi importante na mabigat yung binubuhat mm. as long as you do it right and number two you shouldn't be hurting yourself kailangan hindi ka na-injured it should be challenging enough for you to get better but it shouldn't be able to give you pain na hindi nyo kaya mm. maka-recover. Yun lang yung, yun lang yung mga simple. Kailangan injury and you're healthy once you go to the exercises. That's very true kasi whenever we go to gym, di ba, may mga makikita tayo ng mga ego lifter na tinatawag, eh, di ba? So, yung mga, ang bibigat ng buhat to the point na nakocompromise yung ano nila, yung posture nila. So, talagang mas nagiging injury prone. Exactly. Nila. Tama yung ginamit mong term posture. Mm. Oh, tama yan. Yung posture, ito yun yung, ako kasi personally, as a strength and conditioning coach, when I see someone walk, when I see yung gait pattern, kung tawagin namin mga coaches, na nakikita mo na agad, eh, oh, may problema to sa likod, mm. yeah. may problema sa balikat, bakit tabi ka maglakad, mm. bakit di may magand stride, and all that. So nakikita mo yung, nakikita mo, by the way that they walk, yun naman yung uh, on the technical side, the coaching ay na, it's what we see when we when we look at people who want to ask for our help. Ganun-ganun namin ina But for the most part, syempre, doon lang tayo sa kaya natin. Sinasabi ko nga, uh, the past few weeks kay Verge, sasabihin ko rin, so, ang labanan, hindi pagandahan ng katawan, pahabaan ng buhay. Toto, sir. Like, mas mahaba yung buhay mo, mas healthy ka, mas marami kang maisisiksik at maipupuno mm. doon sa buhay mo. Yes, it's all about longevity, kumbaga. <laughs> Anyway, sir, regarding uh, since napag-usapan na natin yung uh, workout and the positioning of post- posture, sir, there, pasok naman tayo pagdating sa mindset or sa consistency. But before I ask you about that, we will be having a short break. Asawa, sabay kami natututo sa buhay. Sabay rin namin inaaral ng mga bayarin sa bahay. Kahit kami, nagtaka sa biglang laki ng electricity bill namin. Huwag pong mga bang maputulat. Sinisigurado ng Meralco na walang disconnection hanggang September. Estimated bills lang ang natanggap natin ng March, April, at para sa ilan, May. Dahil sa lockdown, isang tabi to para hindi na maguluhan. Ang May o June ay actual meter reading na. Kung may nagka-actual reading, ibabawas dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang tatlong buwang konsumo. Kung estimated reading sa May at June nagka-actual reading, ibabawas din dito ang huling reading bago mag-ECQ. Yan lang po ang ating babayaran hanggang apat na buwang konsumo. Walang labis. Tandaan! Kung ano lang na konsumo, yun lang ang babayaran. Ako po si Mateo G. At ako naman po si Sarge. G? G! Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Bakit kailangan ko pang pumunta sa bangko? Kung ano man, sir. Ba't kailangan pong pumunta sa bangko? Why not get a Ubi app? So you can do all these without going to the bank. Bank the way you live. Union Bank. Ang Philippine Offshore Gaming Operators o POGO ay isang legitimate business entity na nagbibigay serbisyo sa offshore gaming para lamang sa mga manlalarong nasa abroad sa pamamagitan ng internet. Ang mga serbisyong handog nito ay katulad ng casino games at sports betting na pwedeng laruin kahit wala sa casino. Sa Pilipinas, walang POGO operators. Tanging POGO service providers lamang dahil nagaganap ang mga laro sa labas ng bansa. And we're back live with Coach Hammer, Coach Martin Antonio. And as I was saying nga kanina, uh, given na meron na tayo nitong weights, meron na tayo ng proper knowledge, meron na tayong goal kung paano magsaset up ng workout. Paano naman sir pagdating sa consistency? Kasi may time na yung iba, syempre nasa bahay lang and malakas ang magnet ng kama as we all know. 
talagang minsan na pag-iisipan nila, ah, bukas na lang, since wala naman akong gagawin. Hanggang yung bukas ng bukas, umabot na na next week and then next month. So, how to fight that, ano, sir? That kind of urge na itigil or mag-pause? Alam mo, uh, Ian, ako kinopia ko to dun sa mga kaibigan kong streamers ng uh, on games. Kasi nga, naglalaro sila Call of Duty, mm. naglalaro sila ng uh, Mobile Legends, ano pa ba yung League of Legends ba? Yung yes. mas may sister ng gaming rig. So, yung kanya, nakatapat sa kama yung kanyang uh, computer systems. Mm. She, she is working from home and she likes uh, playing those games. So ako, ang ginawa, personal ano to, personal uh, choice. I put my bed downstairs dito sa weights room ko. Katap ko, yung squat rack at saka yung uh-huh. weights, pati yung bench ko. So when I wake up, it's the first thing that I see every morning. So I'm forced to work out. But for other people who are, uh, kasi may dalawang types of uh, it motivation. It's intrinsic, just nakikita natin sa a lot of athletes, a lot of uh, high-performing individuals. Mm-hmm. Innately, they are self-motivated when they do things. For other people, kailangan nila ng extrins- extrinsic motivators. Kailangan nila ng mga tao that would push them. Kailangan nila ng mga bagay that make them go the extra mile. If, if you're looking at extrinsic people, syempre kailangan mo ng support group. Pwede meron kayong group chat as a team. Tulad ng football team ko, we have a workout a group that would you would be sending photos every day when you're working out. Para din yung mga giwa ng mga PBA teams ngayon, mm, yes. ng mga MPBL yes. teams, college teams, nag-zoom sila. Para sabay-sabay sila nag-workout, they have, a, uh, they have a set time and then they work out. Para sa inyo, mga katribo natin, may mga barda kayo na gusto rin mag, uh, magkaroon ng uh, simula sa kanilang fitness journey. Siyempre, pinakamaganda pag accountability. Find an accountability partner, yeah. find an accountability group. Meron kayong kettlebell, meron kayong interior ng bay, or meron kayong uh, weights. Kahit mga lata ng nido yan na nilagyan na sito, as long as you can move it, you can lift it, that would be good enough. And people that would hold you accountable to the thing you would be doing. Mm-hmm, yes, that's true. So, kailangan na uh, merong hahatak talaga sa'yo. Eh, no? If there's one thing I learned oh, oh, sa track and field, parang, kasi kailangan dalawa kayong tatakbo, di ba? May magpe-pace sa'yo, kumbaga. Exactly. Yes. Anyways, parang ano yan, oh, parang okay. TGIS. Kailangan meron kang uh, peer pressure. Meron kang yeah. merong tulong sa'yo ng mga kabargat. Oo. Oh, oh. Kumbaga, yeah. may kukonsensya sa'yo na bumangon at mag-workout sa umaga. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, totoo yan. Totoo yan. Mm. Anyways, sir, regarding naman sa diet, as we all know, talagang yung pandemic, uh, sobrang natigil niya. I guess yung regular production ng mga foods na nakuha natin from the market, so bumaba yung supply. So, paano sir maintain yung maayos na healthy diet, kumbaga, despite this pandemic? Well, um, healthy diet, of course. Uh, tayo naman, we have leeways. Eh. We have we always have a choice on what to eat, what not to eat. Siyempre, mga Pilipino, we're rice-based. Eh. Mahilig tayo sa kanin, pero marami rin na nag, eh, nag... Hindi kumakain na kanin. Ini-eliminate nila yung base sa kanilang diet, which helps them. Alam mo, parang, parang sa lahat ng bagay, it's about how it makes you feel. How, how you customize the things that you eat for you to be able to perform. Ako, uh, favorite ko si Shannon Sharp as a tight end in the field and as a uh, TV analyst, TV commentator. But I also watch him how he trains. Lagi niya sinabi, you eat not to survive but to perform. Whatever you put in your body, it helps you in the way that you perform your tasks. Let's mm-hmm. say, uh, you're doing manual labor. Siyempre, makain ka ng kanin. And sabi mo nga, nagkaroon tayo ng, nagkaroon tayo ng konting uh, abirya pagdating sa supplies. But ngayon, nag, nag-stabilize na ang mga markets natin. Nag-stabilize na ang mga talipapa, palengke, our groceries has, has always been always been open. And uh, ngayon, may mga choices. Na. Pinakamaganda nga nangyari dito sa pandemic, nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon. A lot of us learned how to cook. Mm, how yes. to cook better, how to cook healthier, giving options. So you put that in... Uh, into good use. Ako, I've been eating a lot of vegetables right now. I'm trying to limit my carb intake. At ang pinakamahirap is to limit the sugar. Kasi pagkatating sa this, medyo weakness natin yan mga Pilipino. It's the sweets and salty stuff that uh, we are really susceptible to. Mahilig tayo sa chichiria, mahilig tayo sa, sa sweets, lalong-lalo na pag nag-binge watch. Medyo kailangan bawasan lang yon when it comes to eating. Even myself, I, I need to limit my sugar intake kasi pagka, pagka kumakain ka na masyado, tamis talagang nakaka-apekto on, not only on your mood kasi yung sugar crash and all those things, but also with the way that you would be performing your exercises, your workouts, which is clearly affected by the mood you're in. 
Yes. And speaking of uh, sir na banggit niyo na regarding sa mga carbs no, sa mga carb intake natin. There's this common means misconception no na kailangan kapag mag-start ka na daw mag-diet and you're on your way sa fitness journey mo, kailangan uh, biglaan mong i-drop yung ano yung carbs intake mo eh. So, pa, sir, can you debunk that to us? Actually, yeah, sabi ko nga sa if it works for you, it works for you. But uh the, the fuel that our body prefers ATP, eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, kailangan mo, ng, kailangan mo talaga yung carbs yan. Yan yung pinakamadaling i-breakdown para if you will yung muscles. Kaya meron tayong muscle glycogen. Di ba? Yes. Tapos mm-hmm. you have there. Ma- maraming nangyayaring cycles throughout your body on how it re- replenishes that energy store. Kaya nga, di ba? Simplihan natin. Lahat ng pinag-aralan natin in school. It's your go, it's your grow, and your glow yes. foods. Mm-hmm. Go foods, mga carbohydrates. As long as it is, it is eaten, in moderation, it is eaten enough to fuel your body. And laging ganun eh, in moderation, it would help you become stronger and better. Kasi you could only eat so much protein without being satiated by animal fats, mm-hmm. by uh, by uh, meat, and all those fine things. Kailangan bala talaga eh. You have your carbs, you have your uh, grow foods, which is your proteins, proteins and your glow foods, which makes you, uh, which cleans up your body gives you vitamins and gives that uh, radiating factor pagdating sa mga exercises. Laging ganun yan. Kumbaga sa kotse, laging marami kang inilalagay. Hindi la- yung gasina mo is your uh, go foods. Your grow mm-hmm. foods, yun yung mga pag-fine-tune mo, mga oils mo sa mga, and, uh, yes. and the glow foods yun yung inilalagay mo sa gas to clean up your heart. Mm-hmm. May iba sir, paano ba yan? Uh, saan babagsak? Kunwari sir, milk tea daw. <laughs> mga madalas mag-take ng milk tea ngayon eh. So, talamak yung mga yan. So. Milk tea! <laughs> Oo, syempre. Alam mo, uh, kasi if you if you drink tea, ako, I am not a big tea drinker. I'm a coffee uh, I'm a coffee guy. I'm a black coffee guy. But if you if you boil it down, if you drink, milk is a complete food. Kompleto yan. It has... Kaya nga ang mga bata, di ba, yan yung transportation na nutrients nila from mother to uh, to the child. Pagka tinignan mo ang makeup ng uh, gatas, hindi nga liquid eh. It's food. It's mm-hmm. solid food. Kaya pagka meron kang pagkukulang sa nutrients sa mga bata, di ba, pinainom na tas kasi kompleto yan. Yung tea, it's uh, yung gatas hindi siya ma in itself. The tea, pagka ininom mo, anong lasa? Very bland, but it's very, very good for you. It calms you down. It's very, very low caffeine, um, caffeine uh, levels. It it suits you. Pag mm-hmm. pinaghalo mo yung gatas at saka yung tea, okay. Pero oh. pag ihinalo mo na yung 100% sugar, <laughs> yung magic sugar na inilalagay, oh. doon nagkakaroon, ng, doon nagkakaroon ng problema. Kasi mm-hmm. alam mo, ako ah, it's it's not nitin that is the most addicting part of uh oh, it's not even uh, drugs that yung dangerous drugs yes. that people ta, that a lot of people try not not a lot but a fraction of our population try but the most addictive part of uh, being a human is sugar Kaka, uh, the taste of sugar the way that it makes us feel and mm-hmm. a lot of things that it gives us sugar is the most addictive part and pinakamahirap tanggalin sa system kaya nakikita natin pagka nagka-cut down talaga yung nagpabawas ng sugar nakikita natin nagkakaroon sila ng withdrawal symptoms kaya you you, you tread that in moderation yan yeah? pwede namang 0% ng sugar sa milk tea di ba Yes. Or you could make your own tea. Just get your uh, milk and then get a uh, a tea. You you put that on hot water and then you add the old school way. Mm, yes, because most of the people right now, talagang they're really after the taste, eh. no? Without considering mm, sometimes the content. Totoo, kasi oh. it, it gives it has that texture and uh, cool, eh, cool effect. It's oh, it's the yeah. cool factor. <laughs> it's the in thing right now. So mm-hmm. people want to do it. Yes. Anyway, sir, uh, we have a, a lot of questions here mula sa ating mga live viewers. But before that, mm-hmm. before I hope answer, I have answers. Yes. yes, before answering that, we'll be having a short break once again. We'll be right back. Araneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Bini Bini pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch. Your first home. Your first big break. Your first date. And even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts. With these cell sites, it affords us better cooperation and communication with the outside world. 
because it is vital for FU and RMF to have this. We are now dependent on this cellular signal and it has helped us a lot. Connectivity is not a problem because we allowed these cell sites to prevail and to be on our roof deck and our helipad. Hindi tayo mawala ng signal sa lahat ng rooms namin dahil may cell site tayo sa taas. It's one of our major advantages. I, I think that's the greatest decision that I was a part of because if not, we would probably be in a, in, a, in a worse case right now. I'm thankful that we allowed these cell sites to be installed. I'd like to think and hope that uh, all hospitals have that. We have not had any case of cancer regarding cell sites. As a matter of fact, we employ many cell sites and many boosters inside the hospital. For us, it has saved lives. I think with this new normal, we have realized that we are more dependent on this technology. Cell sites, if not uh, connectivity, are a must. Hi guys, uh, welcome back and we are here live with Coach Hammer as, uh, and as I, I was saying, uh, no, Coach may mga questions tayo dito from our viewers but first, uh, just wanna give them sh some shout outs, uh, Bea Micalier yan, and Sandy Locus, hero sa inyo and Apong De Los Santos and Martin Vincent Contreras from University of the Philippines Los Baños, ayan, saying hi. And Miss Paula Morin from... Oh, something grounds mo! Uh, from... Patingin mo lahat yan, pati mga prof mo dahil binabati mo paratan. Oh, my. And Paula Morin, uh, my former former teammate from track and field sa UPLB, ayan. So, mm -hmm. ayan sir, uh, first of all, uh, may tanong si Ma'am Ching B. Fernandez. Yan, good afternoon ma'am. And tinanong niya, ano yung difference daw ba ng kettlebell sa regular dumbbell? Well, ako ah, uh, if mm. you ask me as a spin conditioning coach, sa kettlebell, more versatile, you could hold it two hands, you could, you could hold it with a different grips. A, a regular bell, if it's fixed, it has fixed it and all that. Ako, pagka ako tatanungin mo, yung uh, bro science behind it, ang tingin ko dyan, pare-parehas lang. Pero ang kettlebell, kami kang magagawa na different variations. You could do your swings, pwede mo rin gawin yung dumbbell, pwede mong gawin sa water bottle and all that. But, if I would prefer something, I would prefer a... Uh, kettlebell dahil evenly distributed yung weight niya and I could do a lot of the power work that I, I try to do with lesser space and upper. Mm -hmm, I see. So talagang mas, mas, mas nakikita talaga yung versatility ng kettlebell sa mga ganong instances. Mm -hmm. Well, parehas lang naman eh. Ako, kung ano yung, ako lagi kong sinasabi sa mga athletes ko kasi with uh, the PSC, I worked with national athletes, mm -hmm. I worked with uh, pro players and all those things. Ako, lagi kong sinasabi sa kanila, Kung ano yung available, okay. Kung dumbbells ang available, mas mura. So be it, get dumbbells. Kung mas mura ang kettlebell, get kettlebells. If, if you have a bar and some weights, okay, gagawa tayo ng workout. Laging ang pinaka-importante is kahit na anong nandiyan, how will you use it to make yourself better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sir, may nagtanong naman dito uh, regarding naman daw sa cardio. So, kunwari, limited nga yung space. Paano, paano makakapag-maximize ng cardio workouts? Sa bahay, sa loob ng bahay. Cardio is hard, yo. Sabi yan, mate, ko si Yosha Oray, which I, 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 I dearly love. Cardio is hard, yo. Well, pagka meron kang small space lang, pwede kang tumakbo sa labas, you just wear your face mask. Mm. Ayaw ko, kaya rin din a face shield para sa mga nagjajag around, around the metro area. But if, for the most part, if you have a small space, and you want to do a little bit of cardio, a little bit of strength training, I suggest you follow certain people that post bodyweight exercises, HIIT. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? Go to Underdogness uh, Facebook. Uh, I think Anytime Fitness also posts their um, bodyweight training, which does HIIT. A few of the coaches there, so the Coach Ice, Coach Mark, I, I personally know who have very very wonderful content and these people i personally know but i don't I, I i'm not an endorser of their facilities but i believe in the things that they do and i know them personally that they are very very good at 
the things that they're posting. So you follow certain people that does a lot of cardio cardio HIIT work dahil pagka kinumbay niyo yung training, you could run around, you could run on place, you could do your high knees, you could do your butt kicks, mm-hmm. you could jump, you could do a lot of certain things. The variation is there. Magandang makakuha rin kayo na guide on the basics. Those are some of the content that you could access and you could use. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, it's a matter of creativity na lang din talaga, no? Discarte mo kung paano... Oh, paano. laging ganun eh. Oh. Kung ano yung meron, oh. maximize. Discartehan mo lang. Oh. Ang pinaka-importante, tama ba yung ginagawa mo? Yes. At alam mo yung fundamentals ng ginagawa mo. Mm-hmm. You just have to adjust really with the situation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anyway, sir, uh, may nagtanong din dito. Ano daw yung magandang, ano, magandang uh, uh, starting workout kapag nagsisimula ka pa lang? Ayan. So, we all know yung mga compound workouts, mga okay. isolation. So, Oh, compound workouts. Ay, tama yung sinabi mo, oh. compound workouts. Ako, I am an old school guy. Sinalagi ko sinasabi mm-hmm. sa mga kaibigan ko, I'm an analog guy living in digital world. Old school ako. Hindi ako, na, hindi ako naniniwa sa mga fads. <laughs> Mahirap ako paniwalain. Lagi, lagi akong magsistick to the basic. Mm-hmm. Ano yung basics? Since time immemorial, this works. A squat, mm-hmm. yes. a deadlift, overhead press, yes. a press, mm. a ver- uh, linear press, which is a bench, bench press, press, a row, mm. and the basic squat jumps. Anim na movements, yan ang fundamental basis ng lahat yes. ng movement patterns that I choose. The variations would be there. What am I saying? If you could do a push-up, if you could do an inverted row, makikita nyo po lahat yan sa YouTube, an inverted mm-hmm. row, minimal na minimal ang kailangan na gamit. If you could do a deadlift using a knapsack, or water bottles yes. na pinagsama, mm-hmm. do that, do your squats. Ako, fan ako ng mga 6, even uh, 7 liters mm-hmm. na water. Yes, okay. Kasi pag nilagay mo yung dalawang yun, that's enough to be around 35 pounds. 35 to, 25 to 35 pounds, mm-hmm. depende sa brand. So you could use that, you could use that as weight. Ako, believer ako na squat, deadlift, bench, pull, and uh, yeah, do pull-ups. Napakalaking bagay. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do yes, your yes, compound yes. work. Dahil yang Mga exercises niyan, it it does a lot for your body. It gives you bang for the buck. And kung may internet kayo ngayon at nanonood kayo dito sa Daily page namin sa Facebook, I suggest you go to your uh, browser and search for Starting Strength by Coach Mark Repito. It is the basic book when it comes to strength training dahil lahat ng mga bagay boils down to strength. Kaya mo ba magbuhat ng labada? Kaya mo magkusot? Kaya mo isampay yan? Kaya mo buhatin lahat? Kaya mo isang pinggan? Yung binibuild mo na strength ngayon, it will be functional strength when you become older. So the earlier that you start and the exercises that you choose and the way that make your body stronger, it would have carry over once you're older. Yes, oh. So talagang it all boils down to proper planning and motivation talaga this pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And anyway, uh ito sir last question I guess from one of our audiences. Uh may nagtanong, ano daw ba yung magandang ano sir suggested ninyo na uh what's this? Whey protein daw ba or mass gainer? What's the difference between the two supplements? Okay, so this is what you call um ergogenic aids, mga mm-hmm. supplements na iniinom yes, natin. Oh. As the word says, supplements it mm. just helps you when you eat if you're going to ask me what's the best way to eat uh what what are the best food to eat i am not licensed to do that you find dietitians mm-hmm. licensed dietitians that are uh, in uh, in the internet that uh, give free advice um i have friends uh sa industry that you could find on the internet uh, it's on the top of my head mommy mm-hmm. ko yan. but for the most part get it kasi yan eh. If you're taking a, uh, a mass gainer, it has more calories, it has more carbohydrates in it because the aim of it is to supplement the food that you intake para magkaroon ka ng caloric surplus. Okay. When yes. you say mm-hmm. caloric surplus, mas marami na calories mm-hmm. kesa sa kailangan ng katawan mo kasi pagka nagpapalaki ka, kailangan mo ng more calories mm-hmm. to, su- to supplement that body para mag-gain ka ng mag-gain ng weight. So yes. that's a mass gainer for you. It helps you recover faster with more calories. Mm-hmm. When you're drinking whey protein, it uh, mostly, especially if it's a whey protein isolate, it has it tries, it tries rather, quote-unquote, it tries to supplement the protein intake for your body with less carbohydrates mm-hmm. para mm-hmm. yung protein lang ang na-absorb which is essential for building lean 
muscle mass. So, kadalasan, ang ginagawa ng mga nag-maintain lang ng body weight, they take um, whey protein isolate and whey protein. If you want to get bigger and bulkier, laging they take, what do you call this, they take mass gainers. But mm-hmm. if you ask me what I suggest for my for my athletes, ako, I'm a big believer which I also did when I was younger, creatine monohydrate. Mm-hmm. It's the most researched supplement all over the world. You get a lot of uh, studies that study creatine monohydrate. It's efficacy. It's uh, bioavailability for your body. Bioavailability, ibig sabihin, na-absorb katawan, efficacy, kung effective ba siya. I could personally say that it it helped me throughout my years playing basketball, playing American football. I did my staff. I was a 165-pound, 21-year-old. 165 ako. 180-pound, 21-year-old when I graduated. And I was defending sila Sam Ekwe mm, yeah. on a daily basis. And this guy six foot eight, 280 pounds, muscles on muscles on muscles. And then I needed to gain weight. So I I, I did my supplementation with that. When, of course, ang nagdidictate pa rin ng uh, pag-gain ng weight or pag-lose ng weight is the work that you do mm-hmm. and the nutrition that you take. Never, ever, ever um, substitute supplements mm-hmm. for yes. the right diet. The right food, dahil yung pagkain yung talaga yung ultimate source then hindi yan uh, hindi yan synthetic it's all natural you eat better it would help you it would help you get bigger it it could help you lose weight uh slight tip if you want to get bigger kain lang kayo ng mas madami than usual if you want to lose weight you just need to moderate your food intake bawasan mo ng konti if you want to go to the caloric measures mm-hmm, you have yeah. 100 more calories a day it would help you get at least a pound or two every week if you want to lose it you need to work more and then have that um, negative 500 calories have a caloric deficit on what you need for your body and every you could have uh, you could get the notes on the internet you could search how to calculate the things that you need to calculate, the caloric caloric intake for your body, it's all on the internet. You have resources there. You just need to research on it. Yes, very well said, sir. Uh, and I hope talaga yung mga viewers natin nakuha nila yung difference between the two kasi yung iba, talagang nagiging solely reliant na sila sa mga ganong supplements, eh, di ba? Oh, alam mo, kasi nauso it. It's, it's a billion dollar industry mm-hmm. and supplementation and it, it helps, especially mm-hmm. athletes, especially for people who are always on the go. Pagka umiinom sila ng supplements, tama eh, pandugtong, supplement. Mm-hmm, yeah. It supplements the, infor- uh, the the food that take and of course, the information is also there. Pero ang pinakitante, you eat a balanced diet, nothing beats food at syempre, napakasarap kumain. Totoo, totoo naman yan, sir. <laughs> Ayan, I guess uh, that's all the question that we have for now and... Anyway, sir, maraming salamat for uh, accepting our invitation once again for this episode. And do you have any last message for our uh, viewers out there? Oh, yeah. Siyempre, maraming maraming salamat mga katribunan mo. Of course, all the staff there in the Tribune. Uh, I appreciate the time that you give me. Uh, we've been at it for three weeks. I appreciate all the things that you had. So, gave me the, oh, yeah, the importance of health is really tantamang ito. Kaya mga katribo, maghugas po ng kamay. Uh, magsuot tayo ng face mask, magsuot tayo ng face shield, follow the rules ngayong uh, quarantine period. Do stay at home kung hindi nyo naman po kailangan lumabas. Spend time with your family, exercise together, and uh, just enjoy being with your family. And of course, special shout out to my friends who are doing their work, of course, as American football team, the the, my girl, of course, Carmina, Marila, my girls, and my family. And for everyone, who are now stuck in quarantine. My prayers are with you, my virtual hugs, and all my love to all of you guys, especially sa lahat ng mga katribo natin. Yes. And it was a very uh, fun discussion, sir. Talagang kahit ako mismo, dami kong natutunan about your explanations and about uh, paano mag-workout talaga. No? Anyway, uh, special shout-out na rin sa mga uh, org mates ko from UP Moonsay Alumni Society and UP Phil- uh, Philosophical Society of UPLB who are watching right now. Maraming salamat guys for supporting us here and I guess uh, that would be all for now. Uh, this is Ian Suyu and thank you for watching us everyone. Uh, we wish you a healthy lifestyle and always keep safe. Until the next bounce everybody. Thank you.
the days ahead, we need to lean on the values that make us a great company, the Malasaki, for which we are known. And the understanding that, as San Miguel, we stand for something far greater than ourselves. That we have the responsibility to extend a hand to those who most need it. It is our sense of duty and obligation Pagkakaisa and Malasa that will see us through these difficult times. Cuento ni Malasa. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition and Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS users and Google Play for Android users to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viper Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just click on the link in this video to join. Thank you.